So when we first came here in 1970, uh -huh. there were about seven or eight Indian families, yeah. Indian couples. We just love the community. It's a really, really nice community. And of course, we were very young at that time yeah. and restless. <laughs> <laughs> and now the restless, young is gone, but restless is still there. <laughs> The other thing that happened is also initially, I, I think the community was much more internally focused. But we would just get together because we had a need to socialize. When we moved here, we started celebrating Diwali. We said, you know, we can't have Diwali without fireworks. Fireworks. The other things with Diwali was the sweets. It was very common for the small Pakistani community to join the Indians for Diwali and Indians to go, uh, uh, go to a Pakistani uh, family's uh, home for, for celebrating Eid. And we all used to get together and perform epic pieces. Yeah, like, you know, some, some of the Indian uh, mythological epics, the stories about Lord Rama and Lord, Lord Krishna. And so in the video you'll see me playing Rama with a Burger King crown on my head and she was, <laughs> she was Sita. Especially in Ramayana they have the love and Kush. So there would be little, yeah. little guys, you know, performing love for love and Kush. So we were also trying to involve all the little kids and the little girls especially to get them introduced to Indian dancing and stuff like that. And they, you know, that way they learn the culture, like what's going on around the world, not just America. Right. Daika came, I think, around 1993 or something like that. Yeah. That's when the community had grown large enough that it was getting unmanageable to do it just purely on a voluntary basis. Right. Like, you know, a potluck dinners and so on. When Staika was formed, we deliberately added a clause that it's a non-religious, non-political organization. It's a social and cultural organization. And our, our charter is to pass on our culture to our, uh, the next generations and share it with the local community and become the most productive members of the community. In the early 2000s, we started India Day. In Indian culture, we say Aditi Devo Bhava, that means the guest is like the most honored person there. And this is premium because uh, we have local community attend this event. Um, and we usually make it a point to invite the mayor as our chief guest. Um, you have seen a lot of classical dances, classical performances. <laughs> learned a lot about the Indian culture and I really enjoy listening to the music, participating in the dance, doing the Dandia dance. I learned that and then also just a lot about the culture and really enjoying the food and the people. And so that community feeling, that feeling of family and then really you know putting their heart and soul into the performances and showing everyone what the culture is really about. So that to me is really special. I have a family and that really touches me and resonates with me every time I come. Kids love to participate and we call our kids the third culture kids. Like we are born in India but they are raised by the community here. So through this uh, cultural association we try to make sure they still have some root connected to the, to the culture in India. And through festivals like Diwali or the festivals like what we have today, India Day, uh, we try to make sure they have that connection going forward. Not just the people who came, but also their family members, their kids, who may or may not have been to India. So festivals like really help us connect those, uh, those dots with people. We also celebrate festivals at our individual homes. One such festival is the Ganesh Shotsav. One of the famous freedom fighters in India, uh, called as Bal Gangadhar Lokmane Tilak, he started this festival. The intention was more like to raise a nationalistic fervor among the citizens and uh, give them a feel of belongingness to their country and also to use this as an opportunity to bring the community together uh, so that uh, the morale of people was boosted. I think at an individual level, 
as we go through these 10 days of hosting uh, Lord Ganesha or Bappa as we dearly term him, uh, I think that idol is no more an idol and he becomes a part of our household and uh, every day when we perform these rituals, we uh, perform an aarti, we chant some mantras and I think along with that, it just acts as a very meditative experience for us. We honor all the opportunities that this community presents to us. We take it and turn it up a notch and give back more than we receive. We do a highway cleanup, we do American Cancer Society, we, uh, for American Cancer Society we raise funds. A couple of times we had focus group discussions with the Indian community and we were up front and we said well if if it's not relevant in this so, I mean, the age of social media let's just, just dissolve it and everybody said no we need Stiker. People who said they really needed the, the organization the most were the ones who had young kids. From India, it says, The whole world is my family.